you mentioned uh, kind of you made the that big shift around age 40 mm -hmm. uh, or so I was because a lot of yeah. people feel that oh you know that my train has left the station yes. basically I you know I'm I, too old yeah they think well maybe entrepreneurs they start when they're kids or, mm -hmm. or when they're teenagers or out of college and they just go for it and therefore they become successful and, uh, and there are some like that right that they're very successful very early on but uh, the statistics show that the majority of people are in their 40s mm. uh, or around there up until 60 maybe even later when they start their businesses mm -hmm. a large percentage of people are over 40 yeah that start their business and you were over 40 when you went for your doctorate right you that's were, right and that you had that you told me the story of that as well like you had that question but we're talking about you here okay <laughs> uh, trying to get some stuff out of you what what would you say to people especially women that feel like it's too late for me mm. i can't do this it's never too late um it's never too late for anything you want in life and i think that if if you're over 35 it's probably the best time to create a business because then you you're in the, the what young call the individuation process where you're starting to really be connect to who you really are and i think becoming an entrepreneur and, and creating something that's yours uniquely yours outside of the conditioned world uh system you're be you know you're kind of individuating you are going to go through that individuation process faster mm. and get more uh, awakening and conscious in your life just from be becoming an entrepreneur and so it's almost like, should you do it? You have to do it. <laughs> you have to do it. This is the time. Um, I remember I was when I first started. I was sitting at a um, at a uh, workshop with speakers, and one of the women said, "The time is now. Your time is now." And I said, "Really?" And I think a lot of people are in that contemplation stage because they think they have those questions: mm. Am I too old? Can I really do it? What if I can't pay my bills? You know the biggest question I get a lot? Mm. What am I going to do for insurance? It's like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Make money so you can, you know, pay for your own insurance. Like it's not that, like all these like perceived obstacles that we create, the ego will create in your mind of all the stories that the reason why you can't do it, you have the wrong education, you you have to, um, you're not charismatic enough to be put a video up you don't know what you're doing um you aren't uh, smart enough you aren't strong and all those uh, ideas and you have a good job and it's always talking back to you i had a woman tell me once she said god told me i shouldn't quit my job and i said that doesn't sound like something god would say i said i think god would say go for it and that's kind of how i felt that divine nudge to be more and uh, but we get caught in that, those excuses Right. Yes. Yeah, so, so it's never too late. Um, 